Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, dear listeners, brothers, sisters, everyone who's listening to these podcasts on the core problem. And in this discussion, I want to just take a step back. I do want to highlight what is happening in certain parts of the world. I do want to highlight the scenes of a dead body and a mother crying on the dead body. A child who is five years old with a mother raising her hands and wailing in front of God as there is no other helper. With the body covered in white shroud, there is no hope for that mother. The mother is just saying that I bear witness that I have given this as a sacrifice for you, O Lord. Or this is, I do want to talk about the scenes that are unfolding in a part of the world where the body parts are being desecrated, where people are being dehumanized. I do want to talk about those. But at the same time, I do want to highlight some of the questions that have emerged as part of these discussions that we've been having. And it is very important to discuss these questions because these questions show a pattern, a pattern of deception, a pattern of confusion, a pattern of satanic intrusions, a pattern, a demonic pattern that Satan has used over centuries and millenniums to confuse humanity, to fulfill his promise, to make sure that the humans are not what they could be for to make sure that they are deceived and they stay away from the right path. And these questions are really important because they help understand the tactics of Satan. They help understand the tactics of the volume. They help understand the tactics of the oppressors the hypocrisies, the confusion, the misdeeds, the misjudgments, and the political power play that unfolds in our society. So let's talk about those questions. The first question, for example, is, or a comment. These are directly coming from the comments. So I'll just first relate the comments that have emerged. Then I'll relay out some of the approaches that shaitan uses then we're going to talk about an alternate approach how shaitan can be wrong or how our mindset that has been prepared over thousands of years over centuries can be wrong and how we should think about the right perspective and then ultimately we're going to conclude with what does it mean to be on the right path and what does it mean to have the right direction to understand the core problem? What is the benefit of understanding the core problem? Because how would it impact our lives? All of those questions will be addressed one by one, inshallah. So this will be kind of like a mini uh, series of questions within the core series of the core problem problem the first part of the discussion will be around the questions or the comments so the comments are for example islam is a false religion muslims god is the god of vengeance versus god of love that is the god of christianity essentially this version of the comments has many different versions but essentially what the person is saying that muslims god is a different God than the God of Christians or Jews. So that's number one. The second is Jew, Jesus is not a prophet of God. Rather, they believe in Trinity, that God is of three parts and some variation of that. So that is another comment that they come across multiple times. Now, then the third question is or comment is that now, these questions were coming from non-Muslims. The second type of questions come from Muslims who are non-Shia. For example, they say, this is a version of Islam that is Shia version of Islam. We should not be thinking about the Shia version of Islam. We should be thinking about the majority, the 90% of Muslims around the world. And... Then there are comments about, do not reflect about your own life, rather talk about, rather talk about the events 
of the world. There are other questions or comments that talk about do not reflect on the world, rather focus on religion. This is exactly, these are the types of questions why I exactly started the Light of Reflection podcast. Because all of these questions take you away from another perspective, try to confess find you in a particular perspective and do not allow us to think about the broader game that is at play the satanic game that is at play because shaitan has promised and it is mentioned in multiple areas different verses of quran as well as in other books what i will just mention two verses of quran in surah al araf verse 6, 16 and 17 allah ta'ala mentions that quran that shaitan the satan said because you have put me in error i will surely sit in wait for them on your straight path then I will come to them from before them, from behind them, and on their right and on their left, and you will not find most of them grateful. Now, these are tactics that Shaitan has mentioned. Shaitan has also mentioned in other places tactics like entering the wealth entering the children entering the family so that he can cause confusion now this is a promise of shaitan to cause confusion to deceive people from the straight path why would he want to do that he wants to do that because if people are on the straight path they that straight path will lead them towards jannah towards heaven towards blessings and mercy but on the other hand, if people are deceived from the straight path, any path other than the straight path will take them to a destination that is much worse than anything we could imagine. Hell. So now, if we know that, then we also know that the straight path can only be one. There could only be one straight path that takes us to the right destination. The straight path cannot be 20 different straight paths. It is the shortest distance between the two points. Now we have to understand that there is a straight path on which Shaitan is sitting. So the paths on which Shaitan is sitting is the straight path so he wants people to not follow that path rather that he wants people to follow all the other types of paths that are not straight that is what shaitan has positioned itself now there are many tactics of shaitan for example let's start from the very beginning Let's start from the very beginning how Shaitan confuses people towards many different paths. One path that Shaitan uses to confuse people is the concept of randomness in the universe. It's the concept that there is evolution, that everything that we see in front of us is randomly distributed. There is this concept that because everything is random, there is no God, there is no creator. So by the way, do not worry about anything about the hereafter. This is the life, enjoy the life and then death will come and when death will come, everything will end. On the other hand, Shaitan, once people are deceived from that concept and a big group of people have been deceived and they call themselves atheists. So now that is the first layer removed. Then Shaitan goes to the second layer. What is the second layer? Second layer is that God is there, but he's not alone. There are multiple gods. And that is the concept of shirk. That means the concept of polytheism, like people making idols and worshipping them. People making idols and worshipping them along with the God, along with the land. That's what the Quraysh and the pagans of Mecca used to do. So that is the second layer of people that the shaitan removed from the overall group. Now, as I, I do want to talk about there are like seven, eight different layers, how shaitan deceives people. So I will talk about the next layers in the next discussions. But keep this in mind that 
there is a reason why these questions come up and this is not normal human perspective this is a promise that the shaitan has done from the day the first day when he was ousted from the heavens because he did not prostrate before adam and it's mentioned in surah sad and other places in quran and other holy scriptures that that is his plan and on his plan there is only one straight path that takes us to the righteousness everything else will take us deviate us shaitan will try to confuse us and keep us on all the paths except for the straight path and let's talk about how shaitan creates multiple paths with examples in the next episode please join subscribe notify we're going to be doing these every single day inshallah because this message has to be understood to as many people as possible this is critical for our life in hereafter assalamu alaikum